Star Television, bringing wisdom into your home. Dear viewers, I welcome you on Lunte Television. I bring you a guest all the way from Rome. It is Father Lord Winner, who is a Claritian missionary, and we will know more about him in a short while. Welcome, Father Lord Winner, to Lunte Television. Thank you, Father David. And I also wish all the viewers uh, the greetings from Rome. And it's, a, my, it's my pleasure to be with you and share with you about the works that we are doing here. Uh, thank you. Um, we would love to know a little more about Lord Winner. Okay. Uh, I am a Catholic priest. Uh, I am fr I'm from uh, India, the south part of India, uh, in the town of Nagarkoil, I was born. And then I joined the Claritian missionaries uh, I worked in the missions for some time, and then I entered into the training side of uh, religious, which, is, which was my passion and which is, uh, because when I started working on the projects, I saw that uh, there is a need for more training. So I engaged in that. I was uh, appointed as the mission procurator of the Claritians uh, in Chennai province. And then I also visited Tanzania at that time because Tanzania was part of Chennai province mission. I have given trainings also there. Uh, then uh, I was working in the north part of India in Calcutta region among the tribal uh, Catholics and non-Catholics. From there, I uh, came to Rome and now I work as the general mission procurator of the Claritians. Uh, for the Claritian congregation. We Claritians are a missionary congregation. We work in 69 countries around the world. Our main aim is to preach the kingdom. And then we also engage in social development works uh, in uh, parishes in the peripheries, in the educational ministry, with the Bible apostolate, printing Bible diaries, uh, in various languages. I hope you are also very familiar with that. We guide people in their spiritual growth. We are into also media ministries and various type of ministries by which we uh, share the love of God with people. Now I am working here in Rome, looking after the various development projects of the congregation. And also we uh, tend to share our knowledge with other congregations. Beautiful that now we know a little about Father Lord Winner and uh, the Claritian missionaries. Uh, we know that you have held different uh, successful courses um, and uh, we say PRISMA, uh, um, PMF. Tell us more about PRISMA, PMF. Okay. Uh, it all started uh, during the Corona time. In fact, we already started our first training in Rome in presence in 2019, April. And we had uh, 52 participants from 17 countries. Uh, they gathered here and we gave the first training. We were very much satisfied. And then uh, we were planned for 2020. But it was that time Corona came in and uh, Italy was closed. And of course, we were affected a lot. Then came the idea of uh, uh, Prisma. Also, we had the inspiration from Christine Bordwells from Porticus. She was always uh, talking about online training. So we took it seriously at that time because of, we had no other option. And then we initiated this uh, online training platform called Prisma. Now, to give a background, this is not an uh, individual uh, initiative. We clericians are involved already in the formation of religious. We have uh, institutes for that, starting from ICLA in the Philippines, 
sannyasa in india and recently we have also started the african institute for religious life and that is in uh, abuja and called aikla african institute of consecrated life in nigeria so uh, we have also in rome in claritianum and also in spain and other countries so this uh, effort of training the religious to be more effective and to be uh, more concrete uh, professionally in their uh, work uh, that was one of the uh, uh, part of our clerician charism so uh, i am uh, taking this in the in the area of project management so in the area of project management how uh, the religious are faring as you know it's a it's a area where we need a lot of growth we need a lot of inputs in terms of skills knowledge and other, uh, other methodologies which are very uh, contemporary that knowledge has to come to the religious people so prisma was started with that motivation to go online uh, and then we had the first online program in june 2020 it was a big success we had around 125 participants from various countries mm -hmm. and that also opened up our uh, knowledge that uh, this can be done for a larger uh, group of religious because religious are working with the in the grassroots with the people uh, actually carrying out the ministry of pope francis to be closer to the poor and to bring development for them so we tend to we try to train religious in the grassroots level in their provincial administration and also in their general administration so these kind of people came in and the number was increasing so it was something quite new for us then we thought we have to uh, carry on this work in a systematic manner we first focused on on africa so the second training was uh pmf africa online pmf stands for project management and fundraising training so in the african training uh, brought little more uh, information for us in terms of uh, adding english and french so we started doing in two languages it's a new thing for us then when we thought about uh, having for last year 2021 uh sorry uh, this year 2021 yeah, yes. <laughs> we are still here but then yeah. we have completed all our tra uh, trainings in uh, this particular year we thought of doing basic level and advanced level so if you see prisma it is uh, gradually growing uh, with every training the word prisma stands for project instruction for sustainable management so we instruct project and uh, about projects in order to bring sustainable change which is connected with the united nations sustainable development goals and if you see the logo of prisma it is uh, the world inside a triangle yes and this can. triangle you know, you can see that mm. this triangle we think uh, we put there as a symbol of trinitarian god so uh, the expressing the will of god our the trinitarian uh, sustainable will that this uh, humanity everyone is. so that is our motive and that is what is symbolized in the prisma logo also it's great that we now know about prisma and pmf um when one wants to participate in this how could one do that fine uh, we have first our uh, website uh, prismacmf.org so we always keep the uh, next year's program or the forthcoming programs there and you have the uh, application forms as well as the details uh, this is uh, sometimes under constant updating uh, that is one channel secondly we are in close contact with the union of superior generals in rome of men as well as of women religious congregations 
So we send the information through them to reach to all the superior generals because they are the decision makers and they know the need in their own congregations. Accordingly, they can send. Then we also send information to all the concerned bishops because the bishops are the ones who decide for their uh, diocese. Uh, we have, suppose we uh, work with English and French, then in, we, speak, we send information to all the English speaking bishops and then also in French to all the French speaking bishops, uh, especially in Africa. The same thing we do when we did also for uh, Latin America with all the Spanish speaking bishops there. So this uh, information to the decision makers help us uh, to get more participants. We also use social media like Facebook, Instagram, but that is more of uh, general information to have a background uh, prepared for making decisions. But the most of the uh, people join us through uh, this information to the superior generals, as well as uh, through the bishops. And also we have an alumni of around 600 participants who have participated previously. So they also help us to get persons. Know that you're watching Luther TV and we're chatting live um, uh, from Rome with Father Lord Wiener, uh, who is telling us more about uh, PRISMA and PMF uh, course um, that has helped so many. Who qualifies to participate in this program? Okay, that's an interesting question. Uh, in principle, we keep it open for all, but we have our own focus also. Our first and primary focus are uh, for the Catholic uh, religious people. Uh, you, that means the men and women in various religious congregations. It could be fathers, sisters, or brothers. Uh, those who are consecrated and those who are uh, working in the field of projects or those who are decision makers. Uh, there could be superior generals, provincial superiors. So that is the first uh, area of con concern for us. And that remains our focus. We also have Catholic uh, religi uh, Catholic uh, non-governmental organizations, people who work uh, for on development area, but they are not consecrated, but they work in the development. They are also very welcome. People who belong to other religions, uh, we don't deny uh, these groups because uh, they are the ones who are in, in need most according to us. There are for many other people, there are many other trainings available. But uh, focused on religious, we have only a few trainings like this kind, which are uh, taking the, uh, shaping the training for uh, the level of religious and their work. Um, very interesting for the Lord Winner. Uh, I would be interested, now it's uh, almost two years since this uh, program started, do you have any success stories? Yes, uh, we have uh, uh, people or congregations uh, which have uh, uh, started their uh, project offices after this training. So I, I know a few congregations that have invested on an office and full-time persons, and they have started presenting projects to funding agencies. Our objective of training is that they should have contemporary knowledge and they should be able to fundraise from uh, funding organizations. Because uh, now that uh, less, no, a number of funding agencies are known, especially the Catholic one. Every religious goes there. But we are trying to teach them the general project management. So they can not only go there, but also they can extend to new areas, new organizations which are not touched by the Catholics so far. 
so when they go like that they need more training more confidence so we give them the training in such a way we give inputs on project management we give inputs on fundraising and also how to set up a project office and run it uh, and during the training itself they will be preparing a project proposal by themselves so all this put together they have uh, increased in confidence i know one sister josephine uh, from kenya she has set up an office there we have success stories from congo cameroon madagascar many other countries and uh, also uh, father david was uh, you were an alumni of us and uh, you know how this training uh, takes place and helps uh, uh, you to improve uh, your way of working Uh, that is how we see not only success in terms of uh, uh, getting money yes um, you are still speaking to us about the success stories yeah uh, to continue uh, the various successes that we see here uh, in the uh, ground level i have talked and also in the general level we see many congregations are now coming forward to Uh, train more number of people so uh, we have congregations that have sent 25 participants for one training itself and there are other congregations that are 18 15 13 uh, uh, members of their congregation who will be working some in the general level and some in the regional levels in africa and asia and latin america so this way of uh, having more number of people trained helps the congregation to raise more funds and also to improve the quality of our uh, social work we work with the poor but the quality of our work should not be poor it has to be effective and for that we need this kind of inputs Father Lord Winner I have two last questions one would be what plans do you have this looks to be very interesting what are plans for the future okay uh, now that the pandemic across the world is coming down we plan to have on site trainings in rome as you as you know rome is not only a uh, city uh, touristic city but it is also a holy city for the catholics and here we have lot of avenues to teach people along with what are the different church institutions that are available here so uh, we would like to have more trainings in presence so in 2022 we have two trainings planned to be in rome and in one in basic level and another in advanced level the second uh, innovation that we try to make for 2022 is to have trainings with the three languages because we bring in professional people who are working for 15 20 years in the field of project management uh, from us from various countries in uh, europe and we want uh, the same training to be available to everybody so we are uh, equipping ourselves better to have uh, the same training which people who are speaking english uh, french and spanish so these three uh, larger languages uh, can understand so this is in terms of the trainings we also have another idea of digital library for religious especially in development area so now we have lot of uh, pdf files videos on development available all over the internet but we don't have one place where all these things are already arranged and kept so that is what we are planning to do in the coming uh, months to uh, to create a digital library that will be available for the religious so that they can come in they can browse uh, documents about project management sustainable development goals and for all the different methods that we speak uh, about uh, training and development uh, our viewers on lunta tv remember we are uh, 
chatting with Father Lord Wiener, who is um, in Rome. And um, now, Father Lord, I wanted to look at what would be your word to the people who hear this and to the religious congregations and other people who may hear this for the first time. So the boundary that we need to break as Catholics uh, and people who are involved in development work is not to limit ourselves to only Catholic agencies. We have to break that boundary and come in the open. We should be able to work with others, other organizations, other religious. We all work for development. So we should be able to do networks with them and also apply for funding to international agencies, uh, different uh, philanthropic uh, donor agencies, different companies. So the world is so vast with funding. A lot of funding is available. So let us not limit ourselves. Let us bring all that is possible, available uh, we, to our missions. And that by our missions will grow and the word of God and the kingdom of God will be established everywhere. So I wish all the viewers a uh, very good possibility for uh, reaching this and God's blessing on all the initiatives that you do. Thank you very much, Father Lord, for sparing time to speak to us here at Luther TV. Wish you all the best. As we alluded, you alluded already, I'm a beneficiary of this uh, program and I testify to how it has empowered me to move on. Uh, they are not just mere words. I give a testimony but it has helped me a lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you very much. Goodbye. You are watching Lunta Television, bringing wisdom into your home. Lunta Television, bringing wisdom into your home.